Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So this is just a quick video. Someone sent me this nativity scene that was set up in a church, I believe in Rome. I'll show you the clip in a second, but just to clarify things, and you know, since I've been quoting the Bible in the videos, many people will comment and say, how can you talk about this when these people like the Pope and Justin Welby are part of the United Nations and the WEF, etc., etc.? Oh, and the church, they're full of perverts, etc. Basically, you've fallen for the controlled opposition trick. All of these organized religions are part of the system. I mean, think about it. If you were the devil and you wanted to claim as many souls as you can and drag them down with you, you will need to stop them believing in God. You would want to get that population, the masses, and get them to stop believing. You would need to destroy any semblance of faith in them. The faith being the greatest defense against evil. And what better way to do it than to infiltrate the organized religions and control them. And not only influence people once in that position, but also to sabotage the church while there. So you turn off those people who could be potential believers and keep them from accessing the power of faith. This has been going on for hundreds of years and it's worked as we are now living in mostly a secular world. The devil only speaks what is false. He is a counterfeit God. He hides what is true. He keeps people from seeing the gospel by infiltration and then lies and misrepresentation. Here we see this clip from a nativity scene in Rome where the traditional baby Jesus scene also then has a scene right next to it for vaccinations and getting your fifth booster. This highlights how these organizations are infiltrated. And that doesn't mean God and the Bible are bad. It should show you how powerful it is because they had to take control of it. You don't need a church or an organized religion to connect with God. Of course, though, if you rely on them as a mediator, of course it's going to be infiltrated and controlled. Do you know what I mean? As it says in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Now this is just a quick video as I've got stuff on today. Here is the clip and check out the one with the devil horn sign. Allora, this is Santa Maria in Trastevere, a Roma. Vediamo qua c'è il presepe fatta la comunità di Sant'Egidio eccolo qua il presepe questo è il presepe e poi dentro il presepe troviamo questo Io non ho più parole. <laughs> 